Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software, and today I want to talk to you about snapshots inside of SQL Compare. So I just want to show you what it is, how it works, and why it might be interesting to you. It's pretty easy. We're going to start off just by clicking snapshot right here. Now, if we had existing snapshots, they could be listed out, and we could look them up and track them down, but we don't have one yet. So let's click Create, and we'll start. Now, the source for the snapshot could be a number of different places. You could create a, from a database, a backup, another snapshot, source controller, or scripts folder. Now, we'll start from a database. So I have to pick my server. I'm going to use Windows Authentication, and then I'm going to pick a, uh, a simple database that I have set up for doing testing called Movie Management. Now, we can create uh, the name, and you can decide where you want to put it, um, whether you're storing it locally because this is all your kind of work, or if you want to put it into a network share for use with other team members so that they've got to work off the same snapshot, you can. We can auto-detect case sensitivity or turn that off. Um, we can treat items as if they were case-sensitive you know, to ensure that that's going on. And we can decrypt encrypted objects if you want to or leave them encrypted. You know, your call on how you want this to work within your system. I'm going to just going to leave the defaults in place and we're going to create snapshot. Now, basically what it's doing is it's reading from my database. It's going to read out the objects from the database and then it's going to spit them all out into this new snapshot. And so it's completed in a fairly quick fashion. And so now you'll notice I have a listing of snapshots. So when I look at my source of snapshot, I can use that as a, as a comparison point for other processes. Now, why would you use a snapshot? Well, because it is a, basically a script-only source. So it's a way to, to mark um, a point in time of your database or of your backups or anything else that you can then use to compare to other databases, other backups, or, or again, a snapshot, or even source control or scripts. I mean, there's any number of ways you can go about it. But um, it does give you the, a method for having this single point, and you can make the comparisons. Further, it's a very small file, so you can take that and share it around to other people and distribute it as you need to. That's it. I just wanted to introduce you to the concept of the snapshot inside of SQL Compare. Thanks for listening. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.